That's all from Newsnight tonight. I'll be back with more on Monday night. Until then, from all of us in the program, read well and view well. Have a very good night. Cheers. place like home. So, who's after a piece of yours? We expect to be an estate to be impartial. He pulled the wool over my eyes. I didn't think people could do that to me. BBC Two goes undercover to investigate the rot in the housing industry. We need a system that actually vets people before they set up business. It's all to do with money, isn't it? You know, greed, really. You could walk out of prison uh, and set up an estate agency. A new series, Raising the Roof, starts Monday at 8 on BBC Two. Highly intelligent, they breathe air just like us. They're quick to learn just like us. And just like us, they can also be aggressive, promiscuous, cunning, powerful, relentless, bullies. The wild side of the dolphin in the natural world, Sunday at 10 to 6 on BBC Two. How do you feel about the 80s? Remember Bananarama? How could we possibly forget? Young Guns meets the girls in a few minutes. Now on BBC Two, when your time is up, your time is up, and not before. In Manchester, two bombs exploded near the Deansgate shopping area. The first blast behind the... The first time was in December 1978. I approached the bomb, which went off 15 feet away from me as I was driving towards it. The second time was the day after the general election in April 1992, and on that occasion I was sitting in a building just a couple of streets away when the Baltic Exchange bomb went off. Of the friends I was with, everybody was hit by flying glass and slightly cut, apart from me. And the third occasion was February 1996 when the bomb exploded on the bus in Aldwych and that time I was maybe 60, 70 feet away and I was stopped in my car at traffic lights. Junk hit the car like rocks on the right hand side. After a bomb blast everything goes incredibly quiet and your senses kind of pick up every, every pin dropping. I thought to myself, well the bus is burning, the engine's got to be turned off. So I went to the back of the bus and pushed a button at the back. Those few seconds in which I was working on the engine uh, felt like an age. They felt like ages in themselves. And I was conscious, and I still am today, of everything that I did then. And I can almost see it, relive it in my own mind, uh, as a movie, frame by frame. And with this award, you could be... Fourteen of the best short films, and only one can win. The talent in half an hour on BBC Two. Until then, on BBC Two, you'll have to make do with these three.